Hi friends, welcome to episode two of Naria Lumera Nutrition. Today we're gonna go deep into expectations. For those of you who are new, my name is Naria. I'm a dietitian nutrition coach who specializes in weight management, gut health, and overall wellness. Think about this. Since we're talking about weight management, you're on my channel. I want you to think about the expectations you've had in the past with your weight and your health. And I wanna start with a little story with myself. Years ago, when I used to practice all the diets on this planet, I had high, high, high expectations for all of these diets. There wasn't one diet that I tried that I thought, I'm only going to lose five pounds. I had very high expectations for these guys. Odo seemed like, hey, I'm going to lose at least 20 pounds in two weeks. I heard Susie over there tried it, and she had amazing success. So my expectations were very high. Now, with the expectations I had, were they realistic? Not at all, not at all. I expected a lot of something that's only meant to give you short-term solutions. And that's something I really want you to consider. Diets are not meant to be long-term. They're short-term solutions. You have a wedding, you have something quick you have to go to, you need to lose a few pounds. A diet is a short-term solution for that. Now, what I've seen working with so many individuals, thousands at this point, is that the faster you lose weight, the more likely that weight will come back. And not only come back, but with extra. But as we continue to do the diet cycle, we expect different results trying the same thing. Insanity, literally insanity. But we practice it, we practice it, we practice it. We have so much hope, we have so much faith that this will be the diet that works. This will be the time that works and the weight comes off and it does not come back. That I feel better about myself. We have so much expectations for these diets when again, these diets are only meant to give you short-term results. Now friend, if you have had this experience, this episode is for you 100% getting out the diet cycle, setting realistic expectations. Now, when I sign up people on my program, I like to give them realistic expectations. So if they say, hey, Nari, I wanna so sign up with you for 30 days and just get the weight off, I just need to know the basics and let's go. No, I'm sorry, I cannot allow that to happen in my program. I love to set realistic expectations and let them know what I recommend, my professional opinion, based on what they've told me during the discovery call. And I can tell you practicing this for a certain amount of time, the sweet spot is about nine plus months. So if you're starting a program and thinking a month is it or three months is it, most likely that's not gonna work long-term. You really have to change behaviors. You have to change habits, friends. I can't emphasize this enough. Remember, weight loss, weight change is an outcome of behavioral changes. We can't get away from that. You have to focus on your behaviors. So if you're so focused on the weight, 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 and not focus on the behaviors, I want you to go back. I want you to go back and go back to the drawing board and say, what behavior do I need to focus on today to get the outcome of the ch weight change? Big. It doesn't have to be a massive change. Work on one or two things at a time. It could be as simple as I'm going to start hydrating every day. I'm going to start carrying a hydro flask. Start small and grow. What I always like to talk to my clients is about low hanging fruits. So you go outside and the, and the fruit tree is beautiful and you want some apples and there's apples on the top, there's apples at the bottom. Are you gonna go for the apples at the top and go break a leg? Or are you just gonna grab the apple that's the easiest to grab? Same with your weight and health goals. Make low hanging fruit, something that you know it's easy to do during a stressful day, a stressful week. Think about when I'm stressed this week, what am I willing to do? And take that same mentality when you go to the grocery store. Get easy to grab protein snacks, fiber snacks, make it easy. Once in a while, if you wanna go all out and be fancy and cook and do all that nice stuff, great. It's great, of course. But realistically, most of us are tired. We wanna, we, we're busy at work with our families and so forth. So during those days, be ready, be prepared. Going back to the example my coach always gives me about the boxing ring. Go in the boxing ring prepared. Don't go hoping no one's going to punch you. Yes, they're going to punch you. Life is going to throw punches at you. Go in there prepared. Go in there prepared. The more that you prepare, the easier you, the easier your goals are to reach, the more likely you're going to, to um, reach them, right? So make them nice and easy. After you get comfortable with these easy goals, then you build on that. Focus again on your behaviors, friends, not the outcome. You do not want to focus on the outcome. You want to set realistic expectations and say, hey, if I want to lose weight and keep it off, what behavior do I need to focus on today? Be realistic with your expectations for yourself. 
you're the only person that will be affected by this, of course, apart from your family. But when you're trying to reach your goal, be real with yourself. Don't try to impress your friends or your coach or anyone. Be realist. Be real with yourself and say, hey, this week, my goal is to meet my protein goal. That's all I'm going to focus on now. Get better at it, perfect it, and then go to the next. Friends, I can tell you when you focus on your behaviors, on your day-to-day, on your habits, that's when you start to see the magic happen. And I see this over and over with individuals and even myself. When you focus on the goal, it gets further and further and further to reach. Focus on what you need to do today. Those expectations, again, are going to be what's going to dictate your success of of obtaining your goals. Personally, it took me years to get this. It took me years. I mean, right, I had to go to school to become a dietitian, get my master's degree in behavioral health for it to really click. (laughs) It took time for me to understand the importance of behaviors. But the thing is, friends, we have to remember that behaviors, old behaviors, they don't just go nice and easy. They're very stubborn. They want to stick. They want to stick with you forever. So changing those behaviors does take time. You have to be patient. You have to be consistent with the process. If you try to rush too much, the likelihood of success starts to go down. Patience, consistency. How much do you hear it? Probably a lot. Is it true? A hundred percent it is. Now, I will say many times we're used to quick results. We go to the doctor, we have pain. We want the medication now. We want to feel better now. We go to the doctor, we want to lose weight. We want to lose weight today. But this isn't one of those. You have to be patient. You have to be consistent. Patient, consistent. Be patient with the process. Trust the process. Be patient with yourself. Know that it takes time for everyone to change their habits. So work on one thing at a time and build from that. If you're really looking for long-term success, if you're looking to prevent chronic conditions, if you're looking to improve your energy, this is literally the key to do that. I'm telling you what to do to obtain your goal. Now, after years of practicing those diets for myself and and putting those crazy expectations on these short-term solutions, I started to change my behaviors. I stopped caring about what the weight scale, what the scale said. I, I stopped it and I started to focus on, hey, if science tells me this is going to work and I know this works because I've seen it with people, let me try it and give it a go. And friends, that's when the magic started. I became patient with myself. I became patient with the process. I went back to my why. If you haven't heard the first episode, make sure you go back to that first episode when we talk about the why. But I went back to my why. And that's what really motivated me to be more patient, more consistent, and focus on non-skilled victories. Maybe the skill hasn't changed, but maybe I've improved my water intake. I'm more hydrated. Step two, now I've become educated on what protein is, on how much protein I need a meal. Why protein is beneficial? I'm meeting my protein goal. Cool. Step three, let's get into fiber. And if you're my client, you already know how I feel about fiber. I love it. Right? So once I started to change my behaviors, the way that I thought my mindset about food and health, that's when I noticed my energy goal went a lot higher. The scale started to move how I wanted. And more importantly, my body composition was changing the way that I wanted to. And talk about confidence, that's going to go up too. Friends, aren't you tired of the diet cycle? The social media tells us, hey, Kim Kardashian tried this diet. She looks amazing. She lost all this weight. Look at her. Friends, diets don't work. They don't. They don't. Um... You have to really, really improve your relationship with food. Change the mindset. Change how you feel. Change how you think about food. Stop thinking about good or bad food. That's not a thing. There's no such thing as good or bad food. And maybe I'll do a whole episode on that. There's no such thing. We are the ones that decide how much we eat. Right? So you have to really learn and build a very strong foundation for nutrition. You have to take the time to do that. You can't escape it. Now, I know part of my old expectations was I'm going to work out for two hours plus and then see the weight go. 
Friends, again, 85% of the outcomes are going to be based on nutrition. We can't, we can't escape that. You have to focus on nutrition. Don't go to the gym for two, three, four hours and go on the treadmill and do all these things and then go home and not have enough protein or fiber, or the right types of carbs, the right amounts of these things. Go back, start with step one. You don't want to go from step one to step 30. You're going to go back and you're going to have to go to step two for true long-term success. What's your goal? Do you want to lose weight just for the summer? Or do you want to lose weight for the rest of your life and have more energy and feel better, feel more confident? What is your, your, what's your reason? Again, go back to episode why and episode one and review what's your why. Why are you doing this? Why is this important? Does it affect your family? Does it just affect you? Go back to these things. When we set realistic expectations, not only for ourselves, um, but for our goals and anything in life, we are better able to plan. We are better able to plan. So friends, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about the expectations you have for whatever lifestyle change you're doing this year. It's still early in the year. I know there's still a lot of individuals that made New Year's resolutions. It's not too late to start now. There's no reason why you should wait till January or any time of the year or a Monday to start your goal. Start today. Anytime you're listening to this episode, maybe 3 p.m. on a Thursday, start today. Nice and easy. Go get a water and go drink. Go start getting hydrated. There's no reason to wait. Time's not going to wait for us. We either make the change or we don't. Period. There, there's, there's nothing else to that. No one's going to do this for you. Either you do it for yourself or you don't. All of my clients, I can't want this more for you than you want it for yourself. You have to want to get healthy. You have to want to change your behaviors. You have to want it more than I or anyone else wants it for you, more than your spouse or your kids. You have to want it because you're going to be the one that has to change your habits. And habits, again, they're difficult to change. But with consistency and patience, you will get there. I'm living proof of it. And there's so many of my clients that are too. And other, I'm sure other individuals you know too. But I can tell you that those people who are successful or were successful with their goals took the time, were very patient with the process trusted the process, patient with themselves, and did not rush. And I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of a copy of my free PDF guide of how to meal prep. I go over some basics. What are the food groups? I provide my grocery shopping list. It's a great start if you're looking to try something different. Okay, friends, now please comment below. Tell me what you thought. What are you having difficulties with now? Is there anything you want to discuss? I love to help individuals. I love all the emails that I've been getting, but definitely feel free to comment below so I can respond here. And if it's something a little deeper, if you have any questions, make sure to send me an email. Um, I look forward to the next episode. And bye, friends.